welcome students on to the course on mechanical vibrations we were discussing the concepts from forced vibrations and today we are going to solve numericals on to the forced vibration characteristics so the first numerical goes like this a system of beam supports a motor of mass 1200 kg so the mass is given as 1200 kg the motor has an unbalanced mass of 1 kg so unbalanced mass m0 is given as 1 kg and which is located at an eccentricity radius as 6 cm so e is 6 cm it is known that the resonance occurs at 2210 rpm so what it means is this is equal to natural frequency so 2210 rpm and it has been asked what amplitude of vibration can be expected at motors operating speed is omega 1440 rpm if the damping factor is assumed to be lesser than 1 so we are assuming that the damping factor is equal to 0.1 and we are assuming that amplitude at zeta value 0 so we need to find out both the things what is x what is x so for this we need some of the values so first of all omega by omega n as 1440 divided by 2210 so it get it as 0.652 then we need to find out m0 e upon m so this is 1 by 1200 into 0.06 meters then we know the equation so if we are doing it for zeta is equal to 0.1 the equation is x by m0 e upon m is equal to omega by omega n square divided by under root of 1 minus omega by omega n square whole bracket square plus 2 zeta omega by omega n square if we put all the values we are getting this value of x when zeta is equal to 0.1 as 0.000036 meters or this is equivalent to 0.0336 mm similarly if we are putting the value of zeta is equal to 0 that is x at zeta is equal to 0 the equation changes that is x by m0 e upon m is equal to omega by omega n square upon 1 minus that is under root 1 minus omega by omega n square whole bracket square plus 2 zeta omega by omega n square So as zeta is zero, this whole term becomes zero, and if we calculate by putting all the values, x at zeta is equal to zero, we are getting it is equal to 0.037 mm. And now, if we want to find out the difference between x is zeta is equal to point or zero and x at zeta is equal to point one, we'll get it as 0.037 minus 0.036 is equal to 0.001 mm. So this much is the amplitude difference if the value of zeta is changing from 0 to 0.1. The next numerical is a body of having mass as 70 kg. So mass is 70 kg. is suspended from a spring which deflects 2 cm under the load so the deflection we are having as 
2 centimeters that is 2 into 10 raised to minus 2 meters. It is subjected to a damping effect adjusted to a value of 0.23 times that required for critical damping that is C by CC is given as 0.23. This is nothing but value of zeta. Find the natural frequency of undamped and damped vibrations. So, undamped vibrations omega n, damped vibrations omega d and the ratio of successive amplitudes for damped vibrations has been asked. So, before that you need to find out delta that is logarithmic decrement and then you can find out x0 upon x1. So, let us break this problem into two parts up till this we will solve now and then we will see the later part of it. So, first of all to get the value of omega n you need to find out the value of uh, k because omega n is given by under root of k by m. To get the value of k you know the force, the force is 70 that is mass attached into gravitational acceleration is 9.81 upon 2 into 10 raised to minus 2. So, this becomes 34.335 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per meter. Now, if you are putting it here, the value of k as 34.335 into 10 raised to 3 upon mass as uh, 70 kg, you get omega n as 22.15 radians per second. To get the value of omega d, we know the formula 1 minus zeta square under root into omega n. If we put the values of zeta, that is 1 minus 0 0.23 square into omega n, that is 22.15, we get the omega d value as 21.57 radians per second. Now, the logarithmic decrement delta is given as 2 pi zeta upon under root of 1 minus zeta square. So, 2 pi into 0 0.23 divided by under root of 1 minus 0 0.23 square is equal to 1.48. And now, the ratio of successive amplitudes to get that we know the formula x1 by x2 is equal to 1 by n log to the base e x1 by x2. So, we want only the ratio. So, this for getting x1 by x2 that is x0 by x1 we can have the formula as e raised to delta. So, if you are doing it that is e raised to 1.48 we get it as 4.39. And now, the latter part of the problem is, if a body force is subjected to a periodic disturbing force of 700 Newton and frequency equal to 0.78 times to the natural undamped frequency, we have been asked to find out the amplitude of forced vibrations and the phase difference with respect to the disturbing force. So, to get the value of x, it is given that f0 by k upon under root of 1 minus omega by omega n bracket square whole bracket square plus 2 zeta omega by omega n square. So, if you put all the values that is f0 is 700 and stiffness is 34.335 into 10 raised to 3 divided by under root of 1 minus omega by omega n is given as 0 0.78 square whole square plus 2 into zeta value is 0 0.23 into 0 0.78 whole bracket square. So, the x you are getting it as 0 0.038 meter. And to get the value of tan phi, we know the formula 2 zeta omega by omega n upon 1 minus omega by omega n square is equal to 
2 into 0.23 into 0.78 divided by 1 minus 0.78 square. If you are solving this, we are getting it as 0.916 and to get the value of phi, we will have decrease 42 degrees and 19 minutes. So, this is how we can have a clubbed form problem of forced vibrations with viscous damping. That is, majority of the times we have discussed that the forced vibration should be a damped vibration. It should not be a free vibration, undamped vibration. So, this is how you can solve the problem. The next problem is uh, an amp instrument of 50 kg mass is located in an aeroplane cabin which vibrates at 200 cycles per minute. So, the mass is given as 50 kg and it vibration rpm is given as 200 cpm with an amplitude of 0.1 mm. So, the amplitude is given as 0.1 mm. So, y is given as 0.1 mm. Determine the stiffness. You have been asked to find out the stiffness key of the four springs. Supports for an instrument to reduce its amplitude to 0 0.05 mm. So, this the displacement transmissibility problem is this. So, x is 0 0.005 and it is also uh, asked to calculate the maximum dynamic force that is f max how much it would be for which the spring should be uh, designed and uh, the zero frequency deflection have been uh, assumed as 0.1 m so this is exist so to solve this problem, we need to calculate omega first. So, omega is nothing but 2 pi n upon 60. So, 2 pi into n is uh, 200 divided by 60. Then, uh, you need to find out the ratio omega by omega n. So for this, you need to have the value of omega n. So, omega n is uh, nothing but under root of k by m. So, here we are treating that there are four springs. That is why we are multiplying it by 4 into stiffness upon m. So, omega n square becomes uh, 4k by m. So, mass is given as 50 kg. So, this becomes 0 0.08k. And now you know the formula that x by y is equal to that is you need to find out the maximum load that is why you need to assume that zeta is equal to 0. So, this becomes 1 upon 1 minus omega by omega n square. So, we are having x as uh, 0 0.005 upon y as 0.1 is equal to 1 upon 1 minus omega by omega n square. So, from this we can get the value of key. So, students are requested to solve this equation to get the value of key and we are getting the value of key as 26,100 Newton per meter and to calculate the maximum dynamic load on each spring is given by m omega square x. So, by putting all the values, we are getting it as 10.96 Newton. And for each spring, if you want to calculate the load bearing capability. So, we are having 4 springs that is why it is going to be divided by 4. So, this becomes 2.74 Newton. 
this is how we can solve the problems onto the forced vibration characteristics. Thank you.